Gorgeous, and you just hopped on my channel, Girl of a Different Era. Today's video is all about history bounding the Civil War era in the entire 1860s. The glamour, the hoop skirts, the beauty of it all that we just fall in love with every time we watch a movie set in that decade. Today we're going to find out how to add just a little bit more of Gone with the Wind into your daily wardrobe. Stick around! Okay, the Civil War is just a gorgeous time era, and it could be really overwhelming just to pick how to start incorporating that into your modern wardrobe. So today I'm taking three basic ways you can get that historical 1860s feel into your everyday outfits. Now point number one is work style. Now what do I mean by that? I mean the simpler basic everyday dress of the 1860s housewife of whatever you want to call it. Just your basic 1860s dress, you know? Now, obviously this isn't going to have a huge hoop, hoop skirt because you're not going to be going out and feeding the ducks and chickens in a hoop skirt. Unless you're me, but not a lot of people are me. Good thing. <laughs> So we're going for the working style, and the working style is great because like I said, it's got a slimmer skirt. Of course, you can floof it out with a few petticoats if you wanted, but if you really wanted a modern silhouette, just putting that over your modern undergarments and you'd have the modern silhouette, but with the historical feel, which is super fun. Now here are some great examples of some work dresses. As you can see, they're simple, but they still have like the same elegance of other styles, you know, they still have that same 1860s feel. And I just think, you know, things like this are just a great way to add that in to your everyday style. Now, again, you may not be able to wear this to work, but I think around your farm, around your house, around your apartment, whatever, you could totally start incorporating this. Now, the next, quest next question you're going to ask me is, where do I get this? If you sew, there is a lot of great patterns, and because we're only history bounding, they don't have to be historically accurate. Now, I know simplicity has got a few, you know, that are just like, mm, as far as accuracy, but they're great for the feel. And I actually think McCall's has one or two as well. Um, and I will see if I can link them in the description below for you to check out. Okay, now you might say, okay, Mindy, that's great for all you seamstresses out there, but I feel alienated because I don't know how to sew. Please don't feel bad. You don't have to know how to sew to add 1860s feel to your wardrobe. There are other options. Now, here's an option. It's Amazon. Now, we're just gonna, I'm just going to put this out here. They do not have historically accurate costumes. I've never come across one. But as I said with the patterns, if you're just going for the historical feel, these could actually be a good, inexpensive way to incorporate them into your wardrobe. So yeah, you know, you can just go to um, Amazon and search Civil War work dresses, see what they've got going there. And as you can see, they, they may have a few good options. Now, let's say you're like, I really don't like shopping from Amazon. Totally get it and I agree. There should be other options too. Etsy is so great. There are so many little shops there and people making custom dresses or even just already made dresses um, that you can see. And some of them may not say Civil War, but you still have that kind of long dress and it could be short or long sleeve. You still have that feel. I know there's like a lot of great linen dresses. Now, sort of the third option would be eBay. So I have a teacher who's been like gathering up um, Civil War garments and stuff like that. And she's actually said there's a few different things on eBay, people selling their collection, and a lot of them aren't historically accurate, okay? But let's just say someone's selling their collection and it's sort of in your size. You don't have to worry about it being accurate this or accurate that. You can just be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna start styling these in different ideas. There. Now point number two is also important. Okay, do not be afraid of a long hemline. Now, what do I mean by that? So don't run away from long dresses. Now, when we see long dresses, we may have a lot of different feelings. Some of us are like, ew, no. Some of us are like, yes, totally. But the point with a long dress is it brings home the historical feel. Now, if you're going for just the aesthetic sort of, you, you know, short hemlines, you know, like knee length, you know, go for it. But if you're really going for that historical feel, the long skirt is pretty important. 
Okay, so this is, brings up another fun option too. That, um, you could do a fun thing with just get a white blouse and a long skirt, a skirt that goes down to your ankles. Now let's say you did like a knee length one, it would really look more sort of 1950s than 1860s, but with the long full skirt and like the white blouse and then put a cute like um, sash or a belt around your waist and like maybe something cute around your neck. Yeah, you know, that, that can bring home something really fun. And you know, you can even find long skirts at thrift stores, but also they're easier to find online as well. Just the long hemline things. And just, you know, you can get a long skirt that has nothing to do with Civil War and totally style it as Civil War. Um, fun to know, actually, yes, women did wear um, skirts and um, blouses in the 1860s, but um, it was a little different, you know, it wasn't your typical skirt and blouse. And here's a few pictures. As you can see, it's definitely more fancy and it was actually more of like a fancy attire than like sort of an everyday thing. And here's another CDV um, that you can see right there. So what I'm saying though is long hemlines and obviously you can just go on, like you can look at skirts, you know, long skirts, we all know what they look like. I don't need to put a few too many pictures up, but we kind of get the idea with long skirts and long hemlines with dresses. Don't be afraid of them. Um, just, just don't. They're great. Okay, so we've got our work dresses and we have our long skirts. Now, what's our third basic simple point? Okay, as with my other video, I'm gonna go for hairstyles because 1860s actually has some pretty simple hairstyles. And I'm actually sort of wearing one right now. So basically what was going on is often they would part their hair in the direct center and then it would come down and kind of go over the ears. You know what I mean? So it gave this kind of like silhouette thing. And actually, funny note, round faces were like totally in in the 1860s. Really hilarious. So all you girls who also have like round square faces, yeah, 1860s is for us. Woo <laughs> um, so like I said, hairstyles also, you know, you could just bring it around and then put it in like a low bun in the back. It was a very kind of basic look for your everyday. And here are just a few ideas. Um, as you can see, it's just a simple, nice, achievable look, something you could do and not have to be like, uh, uh, I have to go to work in 10 minutes kind of thing. And with hairstyles, the fun thing is you can like literally wear them to work or whatever with historical hairstyles. Like, unless of course you have to wear like a whatever cap on your head if you work in like a deli or something. Um, so yeah, of course, I just want to say this, of course, for dances and balls and special occasions, hairstyles would have been much fancier and that's also an option for you. Here are some good ideas for fancy, you know, sort of like the half up with like some of the curls. It's really pretty and it's just, yeah, it's awesome too. So you can go simpler if you're just beginning or you just want to pop something in and not think about it. Or you can be like, hey, I actually am going somewhere fancy or I just want something to pick me up. I'm gonna do a fun hairstyle, okay? It's it's really limitless with ideas, but the basic silhouette was parted in the center and, you know, covering sort of the ears and then going into what was going on in the back of the hair. So, it's actually pretty achievable. And a fun hack for you girls with short hair too. Sometimes you can just like put it in a short braid or a ponytail and then like flip it up into your hat. No one's gonna know. Okay. So that's our third point. Um, yeah, so we have work dresses, don't be afraid of long skirts and dresses, and the simple 1860s hairstyle. I hope these three kind of helped you, gave you a little inspiration to include kind of more of that feel into your wardrobe. Now, if you have, like I said, any questions or any other really fun suggestions, let me know. And I also made a Pinterest board with some fun, inspirational ideas. I'm gonna link that too, so go check that out and for some more inspiration, okay? That being said, hope you've enjoyed the second How To History Bound video, and I will catch you again very soon on my channel where we are making our story history.
one creation at a time.